Celebrity Onset is a one-hour show featuring a diverse mixture of celebrity interviews, audience participation, and contests. Celebrity Onset will extend outside the studio to cover red carpet events, concerts, festivals, fundraisers, or any other event where your favorite celebrity may be. Talk to your favorite celebrities on air and stay connected to the stars with Celebrity Onset. Quiet on the set. Let's get a sound check. Check. One, two, three. Testing. Positions, everyone. Roll tape. Roll camera. Camera's rolling. In three, two. Live in Las Vegas, it's Celebrity Onset. Welcome to Celebrity Onset. I'm your host, Tony Rowley. I want to remind everybody to join us at CelebrityOnset.com and also on Facebook and Twitter at Celebrity Onset. Today, I am joined with Ron Keel of the famous rock band Keel and also the band members of Cyanide. Um, we've got, uh, we've got uh, Rob Hussey, the lead singer for Cyanide, and then we've got his lead guitarist over here. We've got uh, Mark Andrews, and then we've got Leonard Davila over on the end there. Um, how are you guys doing today? That's excellent. Thanks for having us. So it started raining right when you got here, and now it's now it's gone away. What happened with that? Well, my acoustic hadn't been cleaned in a while, so I kind of just got a little of water on. Now I'm happy. It's nice and clean and shiny. Well, maybe it'll start back up again when we walk out. So that'd be nice. Cool. Well, it's to be on the show with the guys from Sinai. I heard you guys are killer. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, <laughs> really. <laughs> So tonight, you guys are performing with uh, Stephen Piercy from RAT yes. uh, at South Point, and the doors open at 7 p.m. Um, and actually, you're opening up the, the concert, aren't you? Well, we prefer to use the term, we're playing first. We're not, awesome. you know, we don't open for anybody. You're the no, preferred okay. performer. Okay. We're, we're the perennial opening act, uh, <laughs> but uh, we've done, we have the same agent as Stephen Piercy. We do a lot of shows together. It's a great combination package. Yeah. Um, Stephen's obviously got the big hits to back him up, and you know, I don't know what, 25 million record yeah. sales under his belt, so we're proud to be on the bill with him. You guys were awesome, too. I still got cassettes of you guys. That's and, cool. And we appreciate I, that. I, I, I love... You know, I think, your music. I think the band now is better than it ever was, even 25 years ago. We don't have the uh, necessarily the the athletic ability that we had when we were in our <laughs> mid 20s, but the there's no there's no uh, we have the experience, the maturity, and that's not maturity. We were still wild, you know, and, and we still reckless. There's uh, that that's why I do this, so that I can uh, just go crazy and get stupid and scream and yell and run around. Um, <laughs> that satisfies a certain urge within me, but the band is tighter. The musicians, Brian J. Mark Ferrari, my lead guitarists, are, are way are by far better than they were back in the day. And it's it's uh, very surprising to me that the guys have kept up that level of playing and musicianship. Plus there's a real joy when we get on stage together now that was missing back when we were touring across the world two hundred dates a year because it's, it's special. Every time we get back together, there's a real special bond. These guys have, have known each other, loved each other, played music together for almost 30 years now. Next mm -hmm. year we're celebrating our 30th anniversary. And none of us are getting any younger. We've lost a lot of friends along the way, man. Kevin Dubrow and Janie Lane and Robin Crosby, I mean, they're dropping. Uh, every year, yeah. Phil Kenmore, Ronnie James Dio, I mean, you just never know when it's going to be the last time. So, uh, you know, I, got, I think I'd like to think I've got a long, uh, healthy career ahead of me, but you just never know. So you got to play it like you mean it, give them everything you got, they paid their money to buy a ticket, and uh, we're going to give them their money's worth. Well, you're definitely going strong, because you've got shows here in Las Vegas, and you're... I'm killing myself, actually. That's why I'm back. That might be my last day, because I'm literally killing myself. You know, rock and roll will do that. Rock and roll will keep you young, and it will kick your ass. Uh, and it's doing both to me. Yeah. Uh, I do have uh, a show in town, playing in Hollywood at the V Theater that I, I work with called Country Superstars. Um, very, very proud of what we've accomplished the last six years as a Las Vegas production show. I do about 200 tour dates a year as a solo artist with Keel, uh, with the Country Tribute Show. Uh, so I do stay very busy. Also hosting my own radio show. I know we got a bunch of radio shows. Streets <laughs> of Rock and Roll. You can listen to all this stuff at rockkeel.com. And, and what station is that? We have 34 stations worldwide. Some major FM affiliates in Canada, the U.S., and New Zealand, as well as a lot of online radio stations, AM stations, and my show is 
part of the preferred programming in the 2013 Scion Internet Ready Automobile. So I'm really proud of all that we've accomplished with the radio show. And it's still my baby. I can play whatever I want. I can play Scion on my show if I want. Nobody's looking over my shoulder, telling me who to, what to play or what to say. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it. So it's a music-based show. It's a rock and talk show. A lot of it, I, t I take a lot of my influences from some of my favorite talk show hosts, like Dennis Miller, uh, Jim Rome, the sports guy. Uh, uh, so I bring that element uh, into the show with the talk and the interviews and my commentary on what's happening in the business. But uh, it all starts with the music, man. You, you know, you can't have a show about rock and roll without a lot of rock and roll. <laughs> now the show tonight, there's also an after party, right? There better be. If there is, we're going to make one, right, guys? That's the only reason anyone would be Who wants to see you know all about that? We just want to go to the after party. <laughs> You know all about the after party because you guys are performing at the after party, right, Rob? Absolutely. Uh, Cyanide will be uh, playing in the Grandview Lounge immediately after the Steve Piercy show. Uh, we're going to be doing a 90-minute acoustic set, some uh, Motley Crue, some Rats, some uh, Poison, Queen's Right, you name it. Um, and the, right rock the right to rock album in its entirety. The right to rock album in its entirety. And and some original songs <laughs> off our upcoming uh, Cyanide album that we have coming out. Okay. And um, how long have you guys been uh, performing here in Las Vegas? We just got together in February. Um, you know, we just uh, we played our first show in April and uh, working on this record. And you know, we play a, a bunch of cover songs and original songs. So. Uh, we've just been concentrating on getting that all bottled up so that we can uh, get the record out. Yeah. Uh, pretty much everyone in the band, too, is uh, probably third year players. Uh, none of us had come even close to the success runs. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, we keep at it. And uh, one of the things I, I was laughing about, what Ron said, is about not being as young as we used to be. We still jump around and get crazy, but now we wake up next morning, we're like, uh, okay, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Wait, what was the other thing you said? <laughs> When you're on stage, you feel like you're just going crazy doing all these moves, and then you watch the video. <laughs> you're barely moving sometimes. <laughs> my toe was tapping. Really, I was tapping my toe. <laughs> but I, you, you, I did this a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always over the 30 years. It's always a pleasure playing with the bigger names. Oh, you know, it's, I mean, you still get get satisfaction. I would think of, you know, I'm excited to death. Yeah, yeah, very exciting. I'm just excited to go watch a concert now and then, yeah. <laughs> let alone be able to play. I've always wanted to play guitar, but every time I get into a lesson, something happens. The guy moves away or something, so I still can't play a lick. Yeah, it's never too late, man. You know, yeah. Never too late. Uh, I heard your thumbs and stuff get raw sometimes when you're playing. Uh, you know, I've been playing since I was six. Mm -hmm. I'm 52 now, and people will be marveled because it really does hurt. It yeah. hurts like hell. And people will say, well, you think you'd be used to it by now. Well, I mean, if you hit your finger with a hammer every day for 50 years, it's not going to hurt any less. No. I mean, it's the same thing. It's steel wires yeah. and flesh and bone. I mean, mm -hmm. steel's going to win every time. It does hurt, especially the acoustic gigs like these guys are talking about. 90 minutes on an acoustic guitar, you're going to feel it the next day. You soak your hand in ice. You know, you do what you got to do, but you never get used to that. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's part of, the, it's part of the, the, the job. I mean, even now, I've got pain in both hands 24-7 from playing guitar literally all my life since I was six years old. Uh, somehow when you get on stage and the lights are on and the band's around you, you forget all about it. You know, and the, ne the next day, you're like he says, you're, you're feeling it by the bed while you're out there, you feel like you're 24 again. You know, now as place. guitarists, um, is there something that you guys do uh, for your hands? Like singers will do, you know, do stuff for their voice. Is there anything you can do for your hands? Well, it's kind of like that real estate rule. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. location, location, just uh, keep it up. Practice, keep your your, uh, your licks up and your chops up. And you know, it's uh, one of the things I've not been able to do is if I don't play something for a year, it kind of evaporates away. And uh, mm -hmm. even if it's something I've, I've, a song I've played a thousand times in my life, I'll be another band that says, "I can play this song." I'm back to okay. What's a guitar tab look like? This we learned this <laughs> one. They probably learning different new songs and different. Uh, uh, doing different techniques and uh, keeping yourself fresh. But uh, as Ron was saying on the acoustics, uh, you know, we, we started doing this acoustic game, getting ready for the South Point thing tonight, and we were getting on these acoustics and we're trying to play them like the guitar players play the guitar. So you go, I want to do this really cool bang. I'm going to let the guitar, you're going to bang it, it's going to wail, it's going to scream. Acoustic guitar goes, 
dink. And that's not all. Yeah, I did an acoustic album in 2004. It was one of the toughest sessions I've ever done. It's my, solo, my first solo album, all acoustic guitars. And it took about three weeks. And by the end of that, the last solo of the last tune, I was do, I was punching it every note. Ah! <laughs> Punch, and one note at a time. Ah! One note at a time. And, and then like the last solo, it's like, you know, like, let's keep it simple and get this thing done. And so it really is very painful. But, um, and, and, Part of the thing you were asking about what they do as guitar players for yeah. singers, I don't know, uh, you know, some guys, uh, everybody's got their own warm-up technique or what they do, but uh, I, I find that playing, singing, it all comes from the heart, man. You know, it's not the hands, it's not the throat, it's that heart and soul, it's that love of music, that passion, that fire, that energy, that uh, it's really not about the money, and everybody's got hands, everybody's got throats, but not, not everybody can do what these guys do, and, and what we do, uh, it comes for the voice leads uh, in the hard wall. Stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and then we'll ha we have more with Keel and Sinai. Mastermind Tattoo Studio is Las Vegas' premier tattoo studio. With comfortable atmosphere and friendly staff, Mastermind is here to give you top quality artwork, fair pricing, and a fun, enjoyable time. We specialize in fine line, black, gray, color, and cosmetic tattooing. Come into Mastermind Tattoo at 3111 South Valley View Boulevard, Suite Q104, or call us at 702-227-3063. From our deluxe office suites and conference rooms to our efficient and welcoming management staff, Century Executive Suites strives to enhance your company's professional image and reputation. If you're seeking the most ideal location, full service, executive type space, you You'll find it at Century Executive Suites. We're located at 10120 Southeastern Avenue, Suite 200. Call us today at 702-492-1200. It's time to discover the most powerful way to advertise on Celebrity Onset. Celebrity Onset reaches over 1.9 million people. Call us today at 702-280-2469 or visit us at CelebrityOnset.com. Family owned and operated since 1964, Transmission Service Center has provided quality and friendly service for almost 50 years. We service and rebuild standard and automatic transmissions, transfer cases, and clutches. Visit our trusted certified professionals at Transmission Service Center at 3088 South Highland Drive or call us today at 702 735 9373. That's 735 9373. India Masala Bar and Grill is Vegas's hotspot for North and South Indian cuisine, including Chicken 65 and Dosas. Lunch buffet served 11.30 to 3 and dinner from 5 to 10. Compliment great food with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from their new bar. College students, military, firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel with credentials receive 20% off. Seniors 65 plus 10% off. India Masala Bar and Grill, near Maryland and Flamingo at 1040 East Flamingo Road, 702-431-8313. We are Reliable Auto Sales, a number one rated seller of top quality pre-owned exotic vehicles, cars, trucks, and SUVs with over 200 in stock. We have the best financing options for any credit situation in the industry. We offer 24-hour online operator assistance, vehicle warranties, payoffs, and we accept trade-ins. See our selection of vehicles at ReliableNV.com or visit us at 1815 East Sahara Avenue. Mention 1230 AM and get an additional $1,230 off your purchase along with other current dealer specials. Reliable Auto Sales, 702-737-6688. Melinda Towing Auto Service and Tires delivers complete car care service. Come to us for tires, rims, brakes, cleanups, trucks, oil changes, transmission services, and towing. We have two locations at 4031 East Lakeland Boulevard, open 8 to 8, and 2530 East Tropicana Avenue, open 24 hours a day. Call us at 702-813-4072. The stars are shining bright. Celebrity Onset continues. Welcome back to Celebrity Onset. I'm your host, Tony Rowley, and I'm joined here with uh, Ron Keel from the rock band Keel, and also the band members from Sinai. 
And I want to remind everybody to join us at CelebrityOnset.com, Facebook and Twitter at CelebrityOnset, and, and Ron, Cyanide, do you guys uh, have a Facebook or anything, website? We do. Uh, our official website is uh, LVGodsOfRock.com with a Z, G-O-D-Z, so it's LVGodsOfRock.com. And uh, our management, Alice Goldstein Entertainment, uh, for bookings, that's uh, A-G-E-L-V dot com. And uh, we're also on Facebook, uh, Facebook.com slash LV Gods of Rock. Because um, what we actually have here is uh, LV Gods of Rock is actually cyanide and our iron, we have an Iron Maiden tribute that we do as well called Children of the Dam. So we've kind of got okay. like, this umbrella that we put our different projects under. So. Okay, so for booking, they just uh, contact Alice at A-G-E-L-B dot com. Absolutely. Great, great. And Ron? RonKeel.com. Very simple. Uh, we were talking about that during the commercial break, how you got to have that one central hub for everything. When you go to my uh, RonKeel.com, you can find the radio show. You can listen to my show, all the tour dates, uh, my blog, um, you know, just what's happening, all things related to my gigs and, and my various activities. Uh, there's obviously links to the Facebook and Twitter, and which we really enjoy. I enjoy you know, tweeting out uh, stuff. We're, like, we're here doing this TV show with you right now. The fans should know that. We're going to get the word out. Uh, so I enjoy all that, that aspect of it, but you can reach all that through ronkeel.com. That's the smartest way to plug anything because everybody always has spells out their Facebook and their Twitter. Just yes. go to my website, click on the Facebook or Twitter link or That's right. whatever you have. And it's Ron, R-A-H-N, Keel, K-E-A-L-E. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. R-O-N, K-E-E-L. I was wondering D-O-T. <laughs> slash C O M underscore <laughs> with a Z. <laughs> so tonight's going to be a great time at the South Point Casino at the end of the strip here. Uh, 7 p.m. The doors open. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Ron Keel with Keel in concert. We've yes. got uh, Stephen Piercy from Rat in concert, and we have Cyanide performing at the After Hours Party, which the After Hours Party is at 11 p.m. after the concert, and that is in the Grandview Lounge. And also, if you show your concert ticket, you get a uh, complimentary uh, adult beverage, I believe, a cocktail. So Refreshing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll have to steal somebody's concert ticket. <laughs> I'm on the guest list. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really? I'll be just stand outside the exit and ask them, are you going into the Grand View? No? Oh, can I have your ticket? <laughs> just just leave me two tickets and I'll go stag and I'll, then I'll give you the ticket when you get out of the concert. You got it. Right on. <laughs> and the next person to follow me on Twitter at ronkeel.com slash Twitter or Twitter.com slash Ron Kill will get you two free tickets. So uh, and that's, next, next time I go to the computer or the phone and just check the followers, next one gets two free tickets. So do that today. So you go tonight. So Oh, one more thing. Uh, you call the South Point box office. Uh, the next 50 callers that call the South Point box office mention comp. Uh, you get your Keel Stephen Piercy tickets for $9.23. Right wow. on. Very cool. And for $20, I'll do a private concert in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> so what that is a deal. <laughs> I'll do Boy, the private and I thought that I didn't think the career was dwindling that fast. Uh, for 30 bucks, I'll be the right to rock now in its entirety, and I'll pay these guys to back me up. All right. I, I, I definitely have 30 bucks for that. <laughs> So, are, are your next gigs at the parking lot, or <laughs> <laughs> what gigs do you have coming up? Uh, well, we're doing the acoustic show for the Keel Stephen Piercy after concert party, which is an acoustic show, and then on uh, Saturday, July 20th, we'll be performing at Vamped, Count's Vamped, ah, yeah. uh, uh, up there on Sahara and Rainbow, and we'll be there with High Voltage, which is a killer tribute to ACDC. Bon Scott and Brian Johnson Harris. So. And that show will be the, the whole Cyanide Band's five piece. Yes. Electric guitars, full rock show. Screaming and Wailing. That's cool. What's the date on that again? That is so Saturday, July 20th. Cool. 20th. July 20th. Right on. I'll be there. Uh, Saturday, August 3rd at Count's Vamped, our Iron Maiden tribute, uh, Children of the Dam, will be performing with Leonard's Ozzy Black Sabbath tribute, uh, Children of the Grave. 
So we got cool. got a couple things lined up here in the next few weeks. Very cool. Well, I'm glad you guys didn't bring the whole band. I could barely fit what I had in here. But Ron <laughs> tried to bring his too, and I just no way. Well, you know, uh, we'll make room. We'll see. We'll get all this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laid out so, on the table. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you known Stephen Piercy? Quite a long time? Man, I uh, met Stephen in 19, what's it, 1982. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 30, 31 years now. That's awesome. Um, we, uh, we were all part of that amazing era that happened in Los Angeles and Hollywood in that uh, heavy metal rock scene at the time. It was, it was really a, a, a cultural phenomenon mm -hmm. to, on the Sunset Strip and in Hollywood. And to be a part of that, uh, to be a part of that history, and the the music that came out of it, and the friendships that are still intact, you know, after all these years, uh, something that I'm very proud of. Yeah. And the fact that the fans are still just as diehard about that whole era of time today as yeah. they were back then, as a testament to how great that music was and is. And yeah. the fact that there are a lot of young teenage fans of this music now. There's a lot of kids growing up yeah. that are, you know, 15, 20 years old. We see them on our tours around the world. They were around to experience that. Um, and there's not a lot of 15 or 20 year olds following ballroom dancing or no. jazz or some of these. I mean, yeah, and I love ballroom dancing. Don't get me wrong. I do love jazz, actually. But some of these, all, these were cultural phenomena in their day, back in, in their time. Uh, this is the music of the wild and the young, and it's always going to be that way. It's going to resonate with young people for generations to come. And, and you also do country music, too. I do. I do country music. I have been for the last 20 years. It's a love of mine, always has been. I grew up with it. Just one other aspect of my personality and, and my, uh, my musical desire. It's a challenge that I enjoy exploring. Um, I'm, I'm, had uh, played classical music in high school. I won awards for playing jazz and classical music in, in my younger days and loved those forms of music. I love rock and roll and metal and what I call arena rock because it satisfies a certain part of my soul that I, I have to have that. I think the same reason we're going to be rocking out tonight at the South Point. I got to do that. Um, I got to get out there and get crazy and have fun and scream. And, and it's just said uh, that it's the music of the wild and the young or the young at heart. Yeah. Um, but country music is built around the voice and the melody and the story. And you can sit there and you can make someone feel something. You see about real life. Um, whether, and it didn't resonate fully with me until I'd been divorced a couple of times. Gone to jail, had my ass kicked, <laughs> and went, woke up drunk, passed down an alley. I oh, that country music, that makes yeah. sense now. That's easy. I, I get it, I get it now. It's easy uh, to write a song. Yes, uh, but you can, you can sing about what are real life, mm -hmm. you know? Whereas metal and rhyme, we were, we're kind of assuming characters. We're not. All day, we're not those guys that are up, up on stage dressed up, uh, but he is. He wears those wrist pins to bed. <laughs> they <laughs> actually don't come off. They're like Wolverine type. So on. Don't so ask them what those wrist pins are really for. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I do speed bumps. I do enjoy the, the country music aspect of things. My new solo album that I'm recording right now is going to come out uh, probably in January. Now we're a little behind schedule. It's called Metal Cowboy, and it really satisfies both sides of my personality. Metal, <laughs> metal Cowboy. Um, it's a southern rock record, but it's like Black Sabbath with a banjo, basically. I mean, it's a hard and heavy rock and record, but we can paint the picture with those different instruments, whether it's a banjo or pedal steel guitar or harmonica, you know, some other instruments that you don't normally hear in metal. Now, you played a little bit with Black Sabbath, too, right? Well, so that's a, the story that never say die, uh, I guess, but uh, three days. I was in Black Sabbath. I had the signed contract uh, still. Uh, it was... Uh, Incredible experience. I never actually performed with them or appeared on an album, but uh, I was in the band for three days. It was a very turbulent time in their history. Uh, they were looking for uh, a direction, the right singer. They were trying to keep up with bands like Quiet Riot. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're, what's their place in uh, this new 80s hair metal thing that was going on at the time? So they had enlisted Spencer Proffer, who had just produced the Quiet Riot record, which sold 10 million. Mm -hmm. uh, they had enlisted him to produce the next Black Sabbath record. Ian Gillen had just left the band and they were looking for a singer, and they were looking for a direction. And Spencer was trying to make them into an 80s band with uh, radio-ready hits, and then it's just not Sabbath. Um, I was the singer that was brought in to do that project, and uh, it just uh, it was a bad time. Um, 
they, all they ever wanted was Ozzy back. I can tell you that right now. And, and Ronnie James Dio ended up being a really good friend of mine. We did a lot of tour dates with him. But I can tell you, Tony Geezer, they wanted Ozzy back. They got it now. And I'm really proud of that the, the they're out there doing what they're doing uh, on the scale that they've done it with this new record, their new tour. Number uh, one. So, yeah, number one. Uh, so I'm really, really proud. This, this, this is a band that had a huge influence on all of us. Oh, I guess. So uh, to have been in the band for three days is cool. But now to, to see them back with Ozzy is even cooler. Well, keep that thought, because I have, I have a question kind of along that lines when we come back. So um, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. From our deluxe office suites and conference rooms to our efficient and welcoming management staff, Century Executive Suites strives to enhance your company's professional image and reputation. If you're seeking the most ideal location, full service, executive type space, you'll find it at Century Executive Suites. We're located at 10120 Southeastern Avenue, Suite 200. Call us today at 702 492 1200. Mastermind Tattoo Studio is Las Vegas' premier tattoo studio. With comfortable atmosphere and friendly staff, Mastermind is here to give you top quality artwork, fair pricing, and a fun, enjoyable time. We specialize in fine line, black, gray, color, and cosmetic tattooing. Come into Mastermind Tattoo at 3111 South Valley View Boulevard, Suite Q104, or call us at 702-227-3063. Double A Action Towing is Vegas' full-service towing company, providing many services, such as free removal of illegally parked vehicles, tows, businesses, and private parties. Double A Action Towing provides roadside assistance, including tire changes, lockout, fuel delivery, and jump start. Enjoy their car action every third Saturday of month at 1 p.m. Open to the public and enter their cash drawing. Double A Action Towing, 3035 Westwood Drive. Call 737-9100. That's easy. 737-9100. It's time to discover the most powerful way to advertise on Celebrity Onset. Celebrity Onset reaches over 1.9 million people. Call us today at 702-280-2469 or visit us at CelebrityOnset.com. India Masala Bar and Grill is Vegas's hotspot for North and South Indian cuisine, including Chicken 65 and Dosas. Lunch buffet served 11.30 to 3 and dinner from 5 to 10. Compliment great food with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from their new bar. College students, military, firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel with credentials receive 20% off. Seniors 65 plus 10% off. India Masala Bar and Grill, near Maryland and Flamingo at 1040 East Flamingo Road, 702-431-8313. We are Reliable Auto Sales, a number one rated seller of top quality pre-owned exotic vehicles, cars, trucks, and SUVs with over 200 in stock. We have the best financing options for any credit situation in the industry. We offer 24-hour online operator assistance, vehicle warranties, payoffs, and we accept trade-ins. See our selection of vehicles at ReliableNV.com or visit us at 1815 East Sahara Avenue. Mention 1230 AM and get an additional $1,230 off your purchase along with other current dealer specials. Reliable Auto Sales, 7 702-737-6688. Why pay more? Go to Melinda's Tire Warehouse. Whether you need tire service for your car, motorhome, or even a semi truck come to us. We also specialize in brakes, peanuts, trucks, oil changes, transmission services, and towing. We have two locations to serve you at 1530 North Nellis Boulevard and 1800 North Boulder Highway. Both locations are open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 8, and Sunday, 8 to 6. Call 702-813-4072. Family owned and operated since 1964, Transmission Service Center has provided quality and friendly service for almost 50 years. We service and rebuild standard and automatic transmissions, transfer cases, and clutches. Visit our trusted certified professionals at Transmission Service Center at 3088 South Highland Drive or call us today at 702-735-9373. That's 735-9373. You're walking the red carpet. This is Celebrity Onset. 
Welcome back to Celebrity Onset. I'm your host, Tony Rowley. I want to remind everybody to join us at CelebrityOnset.com and also Facebook and Twitter at Celebrity Onset. I'm joined here with Ron Keel from the rock band Keel and also the group Cyanide, who will be performing tonight the After Hours Party following the concert with Ron Keel and Stephen Piercy from RAT. Um, doors open at 7 p.m. The after party starts at 11 p.m. And if you show your show ticket, your concert ticket, uh, you get a complimentary cocktail. Um, so back to the question I had before we went to break that I wanted to ask you. Uh, have you thought about um, contacting Paul with Quiet Riot over there at the Rock Vault? His show. Oh, Paul's one of my best friends in the world. I've seen The Rock Vault a few times. Highly recommended for fans of, of uh, classic rock. It really is a great production with a, an immense array of talent. Robin McCauley and uh, all the, the whole cast of singers and musicians that they have. It's a great show. Paul Shortino, one of my best friends in the whole world. We always sing and play on each other's records. In fact, I'm in their new video, the King Cobra video, for their new hit single, Have a Good Time. I sing on the record and I'm also in the video. He's always singing on my records. He actually produced the vocals for the Streets of Rock and Roll album that, that we released a few years back. So we're very tight. I have nothing but uh, love, admiration, respect for that guy. Yeah, I met Paul uh, a couple of weeks ago with Tropicana for uh, uh, Murray's girlfriend had a layout right. in a magazine. And a uh, uh, great guy. Great guy. Lifestyles. Yeah. He, he's a riot. Yeah. So, yeah, lifestyle. It's on the cover. It's on yeah. the coffee table at home. Yep. Uh, I yeah. love Mur Murray's, a, Murray's a great guy, and he is a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Plug all our fellow Las Vegas shows, <laughs> entertainment. Paul, the rock, rated the rock called excellent. If you're into magic slash comedy, Murray Sashuk at the Tropicana, highly recommended. Yeah. We have, this is like the, this is the, the uh, capital of enter entertainment capital. Of it really is the entertainment capital of the world. I've lived in all of them, Nashville, LA, New York, uh, and Vegas, uh, the ones in the United States anyway. And there's something really special about Las Vegas that uh, really has, it really has earned that title as the entertainment capital of the world now. Uh, not only just for, for but even for our genre, the, the rock stars each week that are migrating from LA. You know, just this week, uh, uh, Tracy Guns from LA Guns, who is now the new Las Vegas resident. Uh, there's 20, 30 guys with gold and platinum records on the wall from back in the day from my era that are now calling Las Vegas home. It's got the close proximity to LA, so you can get back and forth quickly, but it's got that, uh, it's, it really does have that Hollywood feel. You know, it's the closest you're going to get to uh, the old back in, in, in the 80s on the Sunset Strip. It's the closest you're going to get is, is Vegas and coming to a sign I show advanced. And we always talk about it, and we have a lot of reality TV stars on the show, too, and, and uh, that's even blowing up. Have you been on any reality TV shows, or do you have your own in the works, or anything surprising out there that you want to talk about? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can plug a couple of things, a couple of things that are in the works that I can't announce yet, but I just did a 12-episode run as the host of my own show, kind of like what, what you had here at Celebrity On Set. It was a rock and talk type of show where we would uh, bring on rock stars, celebrities, authors, uh, and interview them. And then I got to get my host chops. That's probably why I was talking too much today. Is that the uh, club fortune? Yeah, the club fortune. And now we have a new reality show in the works called Rockstar Next Door. So it's not necessarily a reality show as much as it is a, a, like a, a travel type of documentary television show where we'll take you, because we all have double lives. I'm probably, probably why I'm the, the perfect host for Rockstar Next Door, because I am Jekyll and Hyde. I am the guy who at, seven at 6 o'clock, I'm going to be doing my country gig at Planet Hollywood, then I'm going to change, and at 8 o'clock, I'm going to be screaming my guts out at a Ron Keel or a Keel concert, and going through that, that double life, literally, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a tremendous dichotomy. Uh, everybody's got... Um, two sides. Yeah. And there are a lot of people in our industry that are rock stars or former rock stars that have been become successful businessmen or that are restaurant owners. Ch Cherie Curry from The Runaway, she's a chainsaw artist. Uh, so this thing, <laughs> that really, she does these amazing, beautiful, huge carvings oh, with wow. a chainsaw. I mean, she's the, 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 the ice carvings? No, or it's wood. It's wood. Oh, wow. It's amazing. So we want to carve the jackal. Well, Jekyll's playing in the background. Uh, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So I want to I want to take uh, people around with Rockstar next door and introduce them to some of these people, what they're like off stage. Not necessarily cribs, what kind of house they live in, what kind of car they drive, what kind what kind of people they are, what, what they like to do when they're not on stage. Yeah, I'm not going to tell everybody what my other side is. I don't know. He might be a superhero or something. I don't know what his other side is, but Leatherman. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Dot com. 
And Doc, oh, it's already been bought. <laughs> so, you have a, a record coming out too. Absolutely. Um, you know, the whole point of Cyanide um, actually is we're we're basically celebrating this this era of music that Ron's been talking about. Um, you know. You got your Motley Crue, Too Fast for Love, your Keel Right to Rock, your Rat L, The Cellar, First Van Halen Record, High and Dry by Def Leppard. Those are the albums that influence what this Cyanide album is, is going to sound like. We wanted to make a record that um, sounded like it was made in that period of time. Mm -hmm. And I, I think we've accomplished it. So. And it's called Lethal Dose, right? Lethal Dose, yes, and it, it should be out in January. Nice, nice. I can't wait to hear it, man. Right on. And and again, people can book you through our management, Alice Goldstein Entertainment at agelv.com. Nice. Now, one one thing I wanted to ask too is you grew up listening to country and all that. How how did you get into rock? If if you grew up. Country, how no, did I, you get up? I was, or was, was I know, was one side of you face Johnny and the other one Marie? No, I grew up in a non prejudiced household where there was no musical prejudice in my house. It was a, a, a true love of music in the Keel House. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was no, this is right, or this is wrong, or this is good, or this is bad. Uh, my dad was a big country music fan because he was from the South and he, he lived a hard life. That country music resonated with him and he would have his country music on the stereo. But my sister, who was 10 years older than me, uh, when she was 13, she was a teenager, I was three, I saw the Beatles on TV. She was playing the Stones and the Beatles and the top 40 rock and roll hits. And I, I as a young person, the I was obviously just drawn to the excitement, the energy, yeah. and the sexuality. I, you know, that's oh, yeah. sexy music. You know? I was like, <laughs> country music, I, I, didn't, I didn't get it because it's not that I didn't enjoy it or respect it or like it, I just didn't, it didn't speak to me. So you and your sister could have been Donnie and Marie. Well, she has absolutely no talent. <laughs> uh, neither do I, actually. I just worked my ass off to get where I am. But um, I was drawn to the rock uh, thing because of that sexuality, that excitement, that energy. It's, it's from young people's music. Um, and as I grew older in the 70s, there was, uh, I was drawn to anything that was a little more uh, rebellious, whether it was uh, Kiss, uh, Zeppelin, Sabbath, um, a lot of that early 70s rock had a big huge influence on me. The louder the guitars and the bigger the drums and the you know the, the sexier it was the more I was drawn to it. But my music as as I grew older in my teens became uh, kind of a hybrid. I would say my biggest influences at that point were Bob Seeger, the Eagles, you know, some yeah. the rock stuff that rocked, but stuff that had that country element or maybe had a little more uh, not metal, certainly not metal. But I, I did enjoy the uh, I, I had long hair for one thing. I lived in Nashville, Tennessee. I uh, had long hair and an earring, and I enjoyed wearing the, the flashy clothes, I guess, so to speak. And so uh, I was invited to sing in a, a local rock band called Lust. They had won a Battle of the Bands concert uh, contest, and they needed a lead singer. The drummer had sang on the demo, and they didn't have any. They didn't have a front man. I mean, they had to have somebody out front because they finally had to perform live this Battle <laughs> of the Bands. And I, I had the look. Yeah. Uh, and so they kept by me, join the band, you know, we want you to be our singer. I said, man, I don't want to sing that screaming metal stuff. That just ain't me, you know? And if they kept bugging me and bugging me, and every day, finally I said, all right, I'll do it. All right, what the hell, I'll do it. So that Sunday night, I took my hair off big, <laughs> put on the leather, the scarves, and went out on stage, and put my fist in the air, and the whole place goes nuts. And these people are banging, head banging, and fist in the air. Oh, man, this is really cool. It's a lot of fun. It's working. We took first place at the Battle of the Bands. Nice. We had a record deal. I mean, all of a sudden, I'm on the radio. Oh, wow. oh, this is cool. This is working. This is fun. And I, I certainly loved that style of music, whether it was ACDC or Van Halen, some of that stuff that I was listening to and getting off on at the time. So I embraced it as, as, a, as my territory and a new challenge and something that uh, I'm very proud that I was able to, to have some impact on that uh, 80s metal culture. So probably not long after that's when you got that light bulb that went off in your head, hey, maybe I should start my own band. Was that long after that or when, when, when did you no, start Keel? I started Keel, it was an absolute business move. Um, I had a band called Steeler, which is celebrating our 30th anniversary of the, the Steeler album, which featured myself and Yngwie Malmsteen, a prominent guitar player from Sweden. Uh, became the biggest selling independent record of all time, and it was a cornerstone of that 80s metal genre. It really had a big impact on a lot of people. And it gave me the success to 
we were the, at, at that point, there was a revolving door of musicians. We were in a stable. Bands around us were getting signed. I wasn't getting the deal. And I thought, I need to have uh, more control. I need something where I can, uh, my future, my career, my life doesn't depend on what if a like, lead guitar player quits. So I don't want my career to be over. I, you know, I, want, to, I want something of, of my own. Mm -hmm. It was a business decision calculated to succeed. And we did. Within three months, we were in the studio making our first album, Late on the Law. Within four or five months, we were signed to a major label with Gene Simmons producing our album. Within nine months, we had two albums out, one of them on the charts, and we were on tour. Wow. So it, it, it obviously was the right move for me. Um, and it started out as a solo project. These guys you're going to see at the South Point tonight, these were hired guns, man. These guys, you, know, you want to join my band, you're going to do what I say. You know, it, literally, I ruled that band with an iron fist. And it became a band because of the character and the personalities and the talent of the guys involved. That's why for 20 years I didn't tour without them. I, it was not a kill show for 20 years, even though it's my name. Mm -hmm. I did not feel comfortable doing that without Mark Ferrari, Brian Jay, and Wayne Miller because it became, what well, started out as a solo project became a band, and now it's really ours. It really is a true band in every sense of the word, uh, where it's a democracy, we vote on stuff, but if we don't all agree on something, we don't do it. So it really, you know, out of, just because of the guys involved, because of that relationship and that love for each other, man, that's how it became a band. But it started out as a solo project for all intents and purposes. As a band, you, you develop them relationships, and when we get back from commercial break, I want to ask you something. All right. That. We'll be right back. Mastermind Tattoo Studio is Las Vegas's premier tattoo studio. With comfortable atmosphere and friendly staff, Mastermind is here to give you top quality artwork, fair pricing, and a fun, enjoyable time. We specialize in fine line, black, gray, color, and cosmetic tattooing. Come into Mastermind Tattoo at 3111 South Valley View Boulevard, Suite Q104, or call us at 702-227-3063. From our deluxe office suites and conference rooms to our efficient and welcoming management staff, Century Executive Suites strives to enhance your company's professional image and reputation. If you're seeking the most ideal location, full service, executive type space, you'll find it at Century Executive Suites. We're located at 10120 Southeastern Avenue, Suite 200. Call us today at 702-492-1200. Is this how you want your message to reach your customers? Or is this how you want your message to reach your customers? Or is this how you want your message to reach your customers? It's time to discover the most powerful way to advertise on television with Celebrity On Set. Celebrity On Set reaches viewers like you in over 1.8 million households over the air, cable, and satellite. Plus, with our exciting website, you can reach more customers than ever before. Your supply literature will reach hundreds of studio audience members and celebrity guests as well. The show can be viewed on many internet video hosting sites like YouTube, Google Video, and Yahoo Video, and others. The combination of all will send a powerful message to your customers. If you're interested in traditional or long-term advertising, we can assist you in your goal. It's that simple. Call us today or reach us online at CelebrityOnSet.com. India Masala Bar and Grill is Vegas' hotspot for North and South Indian cuisine, including Chicken 65 and Dosas. Lunch buffet served 11.30 to 3 and dinner from 5 to 10. Compliment great food with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from their new bar. College students, military, firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel with credentials receive 20% off. Seniors 65 plus 10% off. India Masala Bar and Grill, near Maryland and Flamingo at 1040 East Flamingo Road, 702-431-8313. Family owned and operated since 1964, Transmission Service Center has provided quality and friendly service for almost 50 years. We service and rebuild standard and automatic transmissions, transfer cases, and clutches. Visit our trusted certified professionals at Transmission Service Center at 3088 South Highland Drive or call us today at 702-735-9373. That's 735-9373. 
Mia's hubcaps and wheels has new or used original hubcaps and wheels for all makes and models. Call us if you have damaged or scratched wheels in need of repair. We're located at 2550 East Tropicana Avenue, open seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call us today at 702-444-5270. That's 702-444-5270. Where the stars are shining, this is Celebrity Onset. Welcome back to Celebrity Onset. I'm your host, Tony Rowley. I want to remind everyone to go to CelebrityOnset.com, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and I'm joined here with the group Cyanide and also Ron Keel uh, from the rock band Keel. They are in concert tonight at South Point Casino. Doors open at 7 p.m. Uh, also, there's an after party uh, at 11 p.m., and you guys are headlining the after party. Absolutely. And if you show up there with your concert ticket, uh, you get a complimentary cocktail. And also at the concert, uh, you've got Stephen Piercy from Rat also performing that night, too. Um, closing the show. Yeah, closing Stephen's headlining. Show. Stephen's headlining. It's his gig. We're just glad to be on board for that. Yeah. Uh, he does a mix of the rad hits. He's got some great players. In fact, he's got Matt Thor on bass. I don't know if you guys know this. I you know, didn't know Matt's that. the original bass player from Rough Cut, yeah. who was the original bass player from Rat. When I saw it, it was Jakey e. Lee, Stephen Piercy, Matt. He's got Matt back on bass now, which is really cool. So I'm excited to see Matt again. I saw I, He was on the Monsters of Rock cruise with us. I forget who he was playing with. Jailhouse? I think, yeah. yeah so, uh, yeah, great guy. So it really is like a family reunion when uh, these old school rockers get back together and, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a celebration of the music, the friendship, and the fans. So that's what it's all about. And Stephen's always the right to interview. Celebrity Onset interviewed him about three years ago in Phoenix. And, and uh, <laughs> what, a, what a guy. It, it was interesting. If you haven't seen that interview, you can still see it on YouTube. So Google uh, Celebrity Onset, Stephen Piercy, or Rat, and cool. you'll see it. It's a great interview. You'll, that, yeah. you'll laugh. Yeah. Now I want to I want to highlight your your guys' stuff again. Um, you can be found at where? Uh, we can be found at www.lvgodsofrock.com, and that's gods with a z. And you can keep up with them, see where they're performing, and uh, at their website. And uh, Ron. RonKeel.com. I'm gonna link these guys. I'm definitely looking forward to playing the new Cyanide record on my radio show as well. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And also for booking, it's Alice Goldstein Entertainment at AGELV.com. And I want to thank Alice, too. She's been instrumental in supplying some great celebrity guest sets like yourselves. So to Alice show, Rocks. Alice, yeah, Alice Rocks. 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 Yes. Yes. She, she is well in tune with the celebrity world. So if you're looking for representation, even call her and quiz her about it. So, but, uh, so what else? What else? Uh, what else do you guys, how about you guys? You got anything uh, on the side that you do other other than cyanide? Do you have perform? I do a Children of the Grave, a uh, Ozzy Sabbath tribute. Oh, what okay. role do you play? Are you Ozzy? I'm the guitarist. Yeah? yeah? I can see that. Absolutely cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We play a lot with uh, these guys. You should see him just nail Randy Rhodes so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. We exactly fun. how we met. We started yeah. off playing. Uh, Gigs together, Children of the Grave, and Children of the Dance, yeah. Yeah, Ozzy and Ozzy Tribune and Iron Man Tribune, which was always fun. That's how we first saw him play. And Rob and I would be watching him going, wow, that guy's an amazing guitar player. Isn't the tribute so, industry great? It gives you an opportunity to, to play the music you love, and then the fans, you, all the, the artists, like I do a tribute show too, the, the, the people that you're emulating have already done all, they've laid all the groundwork, they've got the great songs in this history and this career, and you get to kind of step out of your shoes and into their shoes for a minute. It's kind of like an acting role. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. I love the tribute concerts too. In Phoenix, I used to go all the time, and it draws a big crowd. And and people get crazy, um, really crazy, having fun, and and it's always a good time. The tribute bands yeah, are great. And some of them men are better than the originals. I don't want to mention any names, but <laughs> exactly. there was, there, yeah. uh, we on the Monsters of Rock Cruise. There was a band called uh, Motley Inc. that does a Motley Crew tribute, and they are absolutely killer, man. I mean, yeah, absolutely I badass. Uh, and the Atomic Punks. Uh, oh, yeah. The Killer Van Halen, Halen tribute. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, not that they're better than the original, but you know, at this point in David Lee Roth's career, you know, uh, 
Do you want to see somebody really nailing that stuff and singing the hell out of it? Or do you want to see, you know, I don't know. But the tribute bands are great. I have nothing but respect and, and admiration for them. And sometimes you're going to get a lot more than your money's worth when you come see guys like this do what they do. Yeah. You just saw it. Damage Incorporated and Just Like Priest, they were in town a couple weeks ago. Phenomenal wow, Metallica cool. tribute and Judas Priest tribute and wow. You know, if you walked into that uh, the uh, Metallica tribute show uh, and someone just James told you that that's right? actually James Hetfield, I would have believed it. I wow. mean, he looks like him, he sounds like him, plays his guitar age, like he, him. His, he plays guitar like him, yeah. it's just amazing. It's cool. Great man. Yeah. Now, all bands sometimes they have their tension, their internal tension. Yeah. And and you've been in the business a long time. You guys have been in it 30, 30 years at least. Um, and you guys are a new band. You yeah. guys, have you had that inner tension at all? We haven't had a chance yet. I mean, it's been real smooth sailing. You know, it's a bunch of bunch of great guys that can sit down and talk about yeah. anything. Yeah, because the thing of it is, when you have a band, you've got several different minds there that have different ideas. Well, we're young enough right now, the tension we have is, well, I think is the best kind of tension, <laughs> and it's when we show up, do a new song, and let her just smokes the lead. And I'm like, oh, all right, now the next one's, I might be doing the lead the next song, the next one we're learning, I'm like, well, I better be as good as that guy is, or I'm yeah. gonna look bad. So we kind of get this synergy going on where, uh, yeah. you know, no one's not bringing their A-plus game anymore. It's like, you know, it's almost like a competition where, oh, you think that's really bad, wait till you hear this, you know, so we're getting back and forth, so, I mean, you know, there's a tension there, but it's the good kind. Well, you'll have that, it's like a five-way marriage, I mean, how yeah. what yeah. is the success rate of any marriage, much less if it was five people, uh, the common denominator, what happens in bands, they break up, Yeah, they all do the stones, 51 years now, I mean, but they have broken up a few times along the way, and gotten back together. Um, it's, it's just ZZ Top, right? That's all we got. ZZ, ZZ Top, top that's right, world. man. That's right. Never yeah. a lineup change. You know. That's that's a good no, that's a good crazy. one. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> you're gonna get that. People are gonna grow and change. They're gonna their motivations, especially once you become multi-millionaires. Oh. Everything changes. You know, you're not the same person you were when you were back on the streets slicing a peanut butter and jelly sandwich four ways. <laughs> Each guy in the band gets a quarter of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. I and mean, things really do, do change you. So uh, the only way you can do this is to change and grow together. I was really thankful about that with my band Keel, because we never had, of course there was tension. Guys left the band, whether it was because of creative differences or drugs or whatever. Uh, but we always stayed friends. We were always there for each other. We were always friends. Even when somebody quit the band, we love your brother, good luck. You know, when somebody uh, uh, underwent uh, a problem or crisis in their personal life, we were always there for each other. We stayed friends, we stayed tight. And so, it was coming up on our 25th anniversary. I said, man, oh, can we pull the car out of the garage and you know, let, just let it sit there? I mean, because this is our 25th anniversary. If we're ever going to do it, now's the time. All these big festivals were happening, like Rock, Oklahoma, and we had an agent who said, man, if you just put the bank back together, we'll get you on the bill at these gigs. And that was the, really the primary reason for doing it, because everybody in the band had succeeded at other things on their own level. And we only wanted to do it again if we could do it better or as good as we ever did it and be able to do it on the big stage in front of you know large crowds. Um, events like the Monsters of Rock Cruise, which we've done the last two years in a row, our first ever headline tour of Europe, and uh, a lot of a lot of big shows like the one tonight at the South Point with Stephen Piercy. This is a special thing. Vegas is home to me. Uh, for, for most of the guys in the band, or like any band, it's like a fishing trip. You get the guys together, you're going to go on the road, and it's not about the conquests anymore. Yeah. It's about just hanging with the guys and having a good time with the fans and the music. Uh, but uh, Vegas is, like, like we talked about earlier, the entertainment capital of the world and the new Hollywood. So uh, we got to hit Vegas every couple of years, and it's been, uh, it's been a couple of years since we played here last, and I expect tonight to be the best one yet. Yeah, that's crazy, because a lot of the, the big bands, or, or a lot of the big bands, they, they live in different cities, like Great White, they were on the show. Yeah. You know, one lives here, one lives in Cape Creek, Arizona, you know, they're all over the place. It does make guys just like, you know, fly or drive. Exactly, these are thing. flying dates for the whole band. Uh, but, uh, and it's, so it's, it's expensive too. That's another reason why we don't play as often as we do. It yeah. costs us three grand just to have a beer together. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're talking about getting all the guys into the same zip code and uh, getting accommodations and travel and all that stuff. So it does get expensive, especially when there are bands out there that are playing for, you know, a thousand bucks. You know, for instance, and there are bands that sold gold and platinum records out there that are playing for peanuts. We can't compete with that. You know? And I guess you can do that because you guys have been playing t uh, together for such a long time. It's just like riding a bicycle. It's not like you have to rehearse every day. It's like, hey, you know. Um, I prefer to rehearse just for the conditioning, the physical conditioning, and yeah. I do this. 
uh, for if we don't have a show for you know a few months with Keel. And what I've been doing now for well, we just did a show in LA last month, so I'm I'm still pretty fresh off of that. But I have to literally get in gig shape, yeah. get in front of the mirror with the mic, sweat it out, scream my guts out, and, and literally it, it does. Uh, I, I need that. I would love to rehearse with the band because there's no, it's like like a, a yeah. game conditions if you're yeah. an athlete. You know, you're, you can practice all you want, but until you get into the game, then you're not, uh, you're not giving it 100%. But for the guys in the band, it really is amazing how they can uh, just walk on stage and, and nail the music like that. I would prefer to rehearse, but, you know, we did it last year. We thought we should rehearse with the Monsters of Rock because we haven't played together in six months. We should rehearse. And it was just the five guys in the band. And there were no audience, no girls, no wives, nothing. Just the five guys in the band and everyone by ourselves. And man, it was the best Keel show ever. I was ever part of. It. I was like, why, why are we here? It's awesome. Now if we could just do this tomorrow at the gig, we'd be fine. But that energy, that magic, we you just get everybody back together. You're, you're on fire and you're fired up to play and you're excited. So you, can't, you, you don't want to over rehearse and, and just wear it out to where it becomes, you're going through the motions either. Yeah. Well, we're not going to rehearse, but when we come back from commercial break, we're going to listen to Sinai play a few songs, and uh, we'll close out the show like that. Awesome. Well, thanks so, for having me, Tony. I appreciate yeah. that. I'm looking forward to seeing these guys play, hearing their new album, and uh, seeing lots more of them around town here in Las Vegas. And uh, I want to thank all the viewers and, and yourself and everybody behind the scenes here for having me on the show. Yeah, I want to thank the guys. Alcohol. Metal Cowboy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Com. <laughs> <laughs> and that's ronkeel.com. Ronkeel.com. Thank you, Tony. And, and, and that's that. where you can find uh, his Facebook and Twitter. And then we've. Uh, I want to thank Cyanide also for being on the show. And you're going to hear them perform. And don't forget tonight, uh, South Point Casino, 7 p.m. Uh, you're going to be able to see Ron Keel from Keel, Stephen Piercy from Rat, and Cyanide's playing at the after party at 11 p.m. Um, Bring your ticket in and you get a complimentary cocktail. So we'll, we'll get those tickets at southquickcasino.com. Perfect. Shot!